Here, Lady Ada, what is this? This is me testing out the MJPEG player available in the Minoru Nation Arduino GFX library. This is a 2.1 inch round TFT display and you have it showing this cool animation. Yeah, I'll Stargate. be your Samantha Carter if you be my Tilk. I don't know what that means, but that sounds romantic. There was a good episode where they make a, a very small Stargate. Yeah. And um, and this could be a pocket Stargate. Ooh, how cool. I don't know what you'd transport to another <laughs> planet, but it wouldn't be all of you. All my Arduino code. Yeah. Uh, so this is being driven by an ESP32 S3 and a, oh, that's a, a dial. Nice dial. And this is a parallel TFT. So this okay. is um, 16, sorry, 18-bit color. Sorry, it's an 8-bit color display being driven with 16-bit color. And then the MJPEGs are stored on this um, SPI micro SD card. So it's um, looking really fun and great. And this is perfect for like, I want simple animations playing. You don't want to have like a full Linux computer. Um, and JPEGs look pretty good. And for pockets. Hey, Lady Ada, what is this? Uh, this is me um, playing in MJPEG on one of these bar displays. So I've got these displays. I love this shape. We've got the round and the square, but these bar displays are so good, cute Good too. for cyberdecks. Cyberdecking. Uh, or, um, you know, something that goes in your tower and your five and a quarter or... A yeah. three and a half inch floppy drive. So I'm playing um, an MJPEG uh, animation off of a micro SD card. This is wired up to my ESP32 S3. Um, and I'm seeing a couple things. Well, first it just crashed, so let me reset it. That's part of the part of the fun of picking up hardware. <clears throat> is there's a little bit of a tearing effect. Um, you can see like these lines that cut through here and there. Mm. Um, that's because I'm using um, the, the code that I'm using only has one single buffer. And so when it draws the JPEG, it decodes it onto the main frame that's also being displayed. And so you're going to get, um, as the animation goes, you're going to see this flickering effect. Double buffering will help there. I also think there's a little bit of um, destabilization in the V-Sync and H-Sync pulses. So I'm going to talk to the factory and see if they have um, any other suggestions for uh, clock rate, H-Sync pulse, or back or front porch settings. Um, but you know, it's a tricky demo. Bing, 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 bing. Sushi time. All right, Lady Ada, where's that thing that time that you put that thing? The zip, 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 zip. Here it is. It's a uh, floppy disk image on this square so it's in display. A floppy disk. Drive, it's a floppy yeah. drive. So this is a 720 by 720 square display, and it does have a touch screen on it so you can uh, draw. I'm just doing dots, but of course you can have it draw lines and stuff. And it happens to be like almost exactly the same size as a floppy disk. So that's kind of fun. Somebody had the idea of like, oh, you could have like yeah. a smart floppy. It'll show it's being or emulated or something. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, and then this is being driven by an ESP32 S3, which, um, you know, fun fact for people who are watching this video all the way to the end, uh, CircuitPython support is coming for these displays real soon now. Jepler just got a first demo working. Uh, but this demo is in Arduino, and it's just uh, drawing a JPEG that is being stored on this um, SD card onto the 720 by 720 square display. Coming soon. Okay, we're going to play some Round Doom. Pew, yeah. pew. Round Doom. Lots of neat stuff. We got our Hackers 4K DVD, so of course we had to do a um, screen. And then we're playing around with some keyboard ideas with these round displays. We're like, oh, maybe we'll um, have a round display with a, a Key 2040. And then, of course, uh, afterwards we're like, well... You know, someone's going to be like, can you run Doom or not? And uh, we're calling it Room. I think Top Bot said that. And that's our top secret for the week. There's a lot. There's a lot. There's even more than I just didn't get to. Um, let's do the questions and.